M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Mesh-tastic off-grid device. So we're just upstairs here, we've poked it out the house. The antenna we're using is built into the unit here, came with the, this unit, and I've added this battery, inexpensive, and I just connected it to the wired connectors that you get when you purchase the Heltec version 3 board, which is about £20 on eBay. So there is a configuration process. I'll show you that in a separate video, but right now we are using the Meshtastic free app. Okay, so this is the messaging section here. We tap here and I have been, I've sent, you can see I'm not really, no one's receiving my messages. Like so, send a hi. It does show that we're connected. I have received some messages here. I just saw one there called Neil Teco. Um, so that was one. Now I haven't, I've had to configure a manual location, so I just went to three dots, radio configuration, went up to location, just find that. Now someone has told me that you can add the GP, you know, the GPS from the phone to this. I couldn't find that, so I've just um, manually added my position by selecting position, and added this is my location used fixed position okay and everything else is there by default I have enabled GPS so if that does start to work that would be nice but I don't know I can't see the setting where you tell it to send the GPS from the phone to the device but that's okay channels by default it uses a channel called long fox so but apparently you can add more channels you can see in the selecting items there to load the fir firmware on this it's really quick and easy you just go to a site called firm um, a stastic firmware flashing tool and it's literally click 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 and you load the firmware it's that easy so if you want to tinker with one of these no problem you can buy an ipex adapter that uh, connects on the board Let's see if i can get the lid off this connects on the board and then you can go to an external antenna and it can be, you know, a big antenna, a Maggie Mount antenna. I've been watching um, Lewis Ringway and Andy Kirby's videos and learning about this as well. Scrolling through here, you've got the P button here. So at the moment it just says it's received something from unknown name. Now, if I go back one and go to there, these are the messages that were, I've been stood up here for about, I don't know, um, 15 minutes and we've managed to get these messages here see if I can focus a bit better so we've got it was started off with that one that could be me M0 FXB look then we got this one SM sorry about the flashy sort of image for the <laughs> the unit stew that's now uh, then Neil Teco that was the one I saw and then we've got one here and it says it's you know I mean I think I put my location incorrect but look three there's no I don't can't see that it's 327.8 kilometer, kilometers so I'm getting this person here mopper tops can we tap that person no so it's fun isn't it I mean I'm receiving this you can scroll through your menu here signal zero that's from SB Uno. Can we scroll again? Oh, gone fast, too fast there. There's the mop. So everything I'm seeing on the screen, we're seeing on here. Ilminster. Is that what that says? Ilminster. Now I'm in West I'm in Western Supermare. Nil Teco. Push it again. There you are, long, fast, joined. What have they joined? Someone tell me. And that's my manual location. And then you can scroll through and you press that, it reboots. Let me just take the front cover off for you so you can see what it looks like inside. We'll take it off and it just slots into place. I notice there's an antenna here but there's a little IPEX connector there and then that's the black antenna that you get. So what you do is get an IPEX connector that clips on the board, it's a small little thing. And then you poke it out the back and then you can have a, a better antenna. So 
we've still got that. So at least we're receiving some items, you know, just for, you know, for now. Oh, I should have showed you the battery connector actually. Did it show it on that side? No. So it's just under there, there's a proper little connector there for the battery that comes with the Heltec version 3. They are quite hard to get at the moment, but I'm sure that eventually there'll be lots. Yeah, I just accidentally rebooted it there. So it reboots very quickly, it loads very quickly. Let's try and send a message again. Tap. See, I'm getting the... Um, see that? The cloud is it's like I'm not sending messages, even though I'm up here and I'm receiving items. So someone tell me what I'm doing wrong there. You've got the, see the cloud is clear there. Um, so we'll go back. A lot of highs there for me. <laughs> see that one stayed clear. Let's go back. Now I've got a few more of these units coming. So we're going to be, oh there's another one there. Which is VK something and that's saying 300 and 67 kilometers, which I, I find that hard to believe, but I did put my correct location in. Um, let's scroll through again. So once you've loaded the firmware, oh, there's something, uh, joined ST Uno Mobile. Once you've loaded the firmware, it reboots. The first thing you need to do is just pair it to your phone. And when you tap, you'll scroll down like this and you'll hit Bluetooth, okay? And there it is there, Meshtastic. And when you hit it, it will come up with a code. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already connected, yeah? Go back. You put the code in that's shown on the screen. You put it into, you type it in and then it all connects, okay? And then you, you're into the configuration. You can see it's showing all these packets coming in now which is quite interesting that it does that. Okay, let's have a look. This position and all kinds of stuff. Let's tap it here now. That's my box, you can rename the box. I just called it orange so I'd recognize it. Now there is a map with your location, but remember I'm just using See if that's going to zoom. I'm just using um, a manual. It should show it really, shouldn't it? Yeah, right, something's happening. You've got this QR code, which I guess you can maybe send to people. You can see the clouds ticked there. Settings, radio configuration. Got user channels. I'm, I'm on the long fast channel. I don't actually know how to add, cha add it to channels. Position we saw power. Enable power saving mode. Network. You can actually communicate with this via Wi Fi and Ethernet if you choose to, but then it turns off Bluetooth. Display. Okay, just left it all default. Heading bold. If you were heading bold for fun, then you send it, it sends it to the unit, look. And there's 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 other units as well that are that do the same thing, but some of them have built in GPS. Let's go back. Is it letting me select now? Good. There's your Bluetooth. Random pin for now. Okay. Now I haven't enabled MQTT. Oh no, I have. I thought that was off. So maybe that's where I'm getting those messages from then. From M MQTT. Cause maybe, yeah. Someone let me know. Probably is, I would say. Um... Reboot, shutdown, factory reset.
So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'm, as you know, just learning. Catch you on air. Bye for now.